the next one, uh, you read question 4.7. <coughs> How would the answer change if the second traffic light were attached beneath the first? If there is a second traffic light below the first one, it's something like this. So the T3 is now supporting two traffic lights. So the T3, oh, this one, I, I typed wrongly. Eh? It should be plus. So the T3 is actually 100 Newton for the first traffic light plus another 100 Newton for the second traffic light. So the T3 now is 200 Newtons. Now these 200 Newtons, they are balanced by the vertical component of T1 and T2. So T1 sine 37 plus T2 sine 53 is now not 100 Newton but 200 Newtons. Okay. So what is the conclusion now? The conclusion is, oh, what can you say uh, the, the change in the answer? That means they, they, they asked earlier on, they asked you to find what is T1, T2 and T3. So now you can tell them, oh, T3 it will also double because of another traffic light added. So the T3 will be double. Instead of 100 Newton, it will be 200 Newtons. How about T1 and T2? Now T1 and T2 is actually supporting the, the two traffic lights through the rope number, the cable number 3. So when this the tension in T3 increases, that is 200, increased to 200 Newton, these two tensions must also increase proportionally to hold back the 200 Newtons. So we say that the T1 and T2 will also increase proportionally. Proportionally means twice. Because T3 become twice, the T1 also become twice, the T2 also twice. Okay. So all the forces will, uh, will double. All the two forces, will, all the three forces, they will double. Okay. Now we look at this exercise 4.7. Can you read 4.7? Exercise 4.7. Uh, suppose the traffic light uh, is hung so that the tension T1 and T2 are both equal to 80 Newton. Find the new angle they make with respect to x-axis. By symmetry, these angles will be the same. So the question says, by symmetry, these angles will be the same. Okay. Because the tension in the two ropes, they are the same, the angle must be the same. Uh, conversely, if the two angles, they are different, the tension in the two, uh, tension in the two cables or the two ropes, they must be different. So it is something like this, it's something like this. The first rope exert a tension of 80 newtons. Second rope also exert an angle of 80, uh, sorry, a, a force of 80 newtons. So both ropes, they exert force of 80 newtons each. And the two angles, they are the same. Uh, they want you to find which angle, the angle with the horizontal or the angle with the vertical. Now, if you read the question, they say, find the new angle they make with respect to the x-axis. With respect to, with the, to the x-axis means this line. x-axis is this line. So if they want, with respect to the x-axis, it means that they want the angle with the horizontal. They want the angle with the horizontal. So it is the theta is the angle between the horizontal line and the tension. So without wasting time, I try to resolve the two component, the two 
forces, the two tensions. Tensions, they are also forces. Right? I resolve these two tensions into their respective components. Uh, the vertical component is T sine theta. Uh, on the other side, the vertical component is also T sine theta because the two angles, they are equal theta. Horizontal component, T cos theta and T cos theta. Right. So, uh, by comparing the vertical forces, T sine theta plus T sine theta must be 100. Okay. Now this is it. T sine theta plus T sine theta. T sine theta, which is the vertical component, plus the other vertical component, also T sine theta, must be equal to this weight of the object, 100 newtons. How do I know 100 newtons? It's given in the previous question. They just it's a follow up from the previous question. Okay. Our only difference is that this time they are telling you the tension in the cable. Both cable also 80 newtons. So the T is 80, the other T also 80. So 80 plus 80 is 160 sine theta. This 160 sine theta is the weight of the traffic light, 100 newtons. So you move the 160 over, sine theta is 100 divided by 160. So the answer is arc sine, arc sine 100 over 160. Angle is 38.7 degrees. 38.7 degrees. Can you read example 4.8? A sled is tied to a tree on frictionless snow covered hill as shown in figure 4.32a. If the sled weighs 77 newton, find the magnitude <coughs> of the tension force T exerted by the rope on a sled and the normal and that of the normal force and exerted by the hill on the sled. The first thing you need to note here, take note here, is this. Huh? The sled is tied to a tree on a frictionless, okay, frictionless snow covered hill. If there, if there is no friction, that means there are only four forces and they balance one another. Of course, first okay. one is the mg sign, mgt, mg, the weight of the, the object. Now, this weight of object uh, is not useful in this form. We have to resolve them into their two components. The two components, they are, let me choose a color first. Huh? Which color? To, okay, let's say I want the green color. Okay, so I resolve them into this component, which is mg cos theta. This component of the weight is mg cos theta. It is perpendicular to the inclined plane. There is another component, mg sine theta. Now, this mg sine theta is parallel to the inclined plane. These two components, they are balanced by the normal reaction and the tension in the string. Tension in the string is actually, the, the rope is actually tied to the, the object. So uh, this tension, <coughs> the rope, will hmm. balance the component of the weight that is parallel to the inclined plane. So okay. we can see that uh, these two forces, they balance one another. The tension is balanced by mg sine theta. The normal force is balanced by mg cos theta. So we transfer this uh, down here. We transfer this down here. Tension is balanced by mg sine theta. M is, oh no, no, no M. 
straight away they give you mg the weight is 77 so this mg is 77 you don't have to multiply with 9.8 because 77 is not in kilogram 77 is in newton so it's already given to you in the form of weight 77 newtons so the tension is the horizontal not horizontal the component of the weight parallel to the plane so the tension is mg sine theta 77 sine theta given that theta is 30 degrees it's not given in the question but it's is given in the diagram here 30 degrees so 77 sine 30 38.5 newtons now this will be the this will be the tension in the string okay now we consider the other two components that that is per, that, are per, that is perpendicular to the inclined plane one is the normal reaction the other is mg cos theta so we say that the normal reaction is equals to this component of the weight mg sine theta mg is 77 cos theta is cos 30 so you can use your calculator and calculate the normal reaction is 66.7 newtons okay okay yeah. then you try to read this uh, question uh, question 44.8 question 4.8 can you read question 4.8 uh consider the same scenario on a hill with a steeper slope would the magnitude of the tension in the rope get larger smaller or remain the same as before how would the normal force be affected oh they say now the slope the slope is steeper right the mm -hmm. slope is steeper uh, you look at this cos theta and the sine theta let me type here right let's say we have a zero degrees zero degrees then uh, what is the sine theta sine will be sine zero equals to zero let's say we have uh, 30 degrees 30 degrees sine 30 will be 0 0.5 and let's say the theta is 90 degrees 90 degrees sine 90 will be equal to 1 so you see that as as the angle theta increases from 0 to 90 degrees that means the slope is getting steeper and steeper what happened to the sine theta the sine theta also increases from 0 0 0.5 then to 1 so we can feel that as the angle theta increases sine theta also increases so we look at the tension in the string the tension in the string equals to mg sine theta so it means that the tension in the string is governed by the mass, the acceleration due to gravity, and the angle sine of the angle theta. Sine of the angle theta. So as the steepness of the slope increases, it means that the theta also increases. When theta increases, sine theta also increases. If sine theta increases, that means the tension is also will also increase. The tension will also increase. So we we can conclude that uh, how will the tension be affected? As you increase the slope, the tension in the string will increase. Will increase. So that that will answer the first question. How would the magnitude of the tension in the rope will it get larger, smaller, or remain the same? So the answer is the tension will increases. The tension increases. How would the normal force be affected? Okay, so the normal force is given by N equals to mg cos.
cost data. Now cost data is different, you know. Cost data. If you look at the cost data, when theta is zero degrees, cost zero is actually equals to one. Cost zero is actually equals to one. As the angle theta increases, let's say uh, theta becomes 30 degrees. What is cos theta? Cos 30 degrees. How much is cos theta? De cos 30 degrees? 0 0.866. Let's say the angle is now 60 degrees. So okay. as the theta increases, what happened to the cos theta? Cos 60 degrees is 0 0.866. 0.5 now let's say if I increase the angle to 90 degrees what happened to the cos theta cos 90 will be 0 cos 90 will be 0 now, so from the trigonometric ratio we know that as the theta increases cos theta actually decreases cos theta actually decreases because you see the value here the value of cos theta decrease from 1 0 0.866 0 0.5 to 0 so we come back to the normal reaction the normal okay. reaction is governed by mg cos theta actually the mass and the acceleration due to gravity is the same there's no change what is changing now is the angle of inclination so as the angle of inclination theta increases the cos theta is not increasing cos theta decreases cos theta decreases you look at the the values here cos theta decreases if cos theta decreases what happened to the normal reaction the normal reaction is related to cos theta if cos theta decreases the normal reaction also decreases right so when you increase the angle the tension increases but the normal reaction decreases any question no no